Everyone dreams of becoming wealthy, but not everyone knows how to achieve that goal. The good news is that there are plenty of things you can do right away to start building wealth. Some of these actions require sacrifice and hard work, while others are more passive. In this video, we'll outline 15 things you can do today to start building wealth, including tips on saving money, investing wisely, and building a strong financial foundation. Whether you're just starting out on your financial journey or you're looking for ways to boost your existing wealth, these tips will help you get started on the path to financial success. 1. Invest at least 10% of your income in yourself. When it comes to self-improvement, Investing 10% of your income in yourself will yield 100 decks on that investment. For every bit you spend on your education, skills, and relationships, you'll have multiple folds back. And the best thing is, no one can take any of these education, skills, and relationships from you. Even if you lost everything and had to start with zero, you'll still have these skills to bring you to back the to top again. If you want to do something extremely well, you need to surround yourself with the right mentors. Having the right mentors can accelerate your path to success significantly and potentially save you years of time. The best mentorships are the ones where you pay your mentor. Often, the more you pay, the better because you'll take the relationship and information far more seriously. You'll be invested. Two, invest at least 80% of your off time into learning. Most of us spend our time on social media to kill time. You should never just kill time. Time is precious and lost time you can never get back no matter how wealthy you are. We spend the early parts of our careers chasing the almighty dollar doing whatever it takes and sacrificing our precious things. But once you have achieved your goals and the more wealthy you become, the more you'll cherish time. The best way to succeed is to dedicate your life to a lifetime of learning. Then you can position yourself as an expert and increase your earning potential exponentially. Three, don't work for money, work to learn. It is by sharpening your skills that you'll continue to become a better and more capable person. Thus, as you dedicate large portions of time to becoming a better thinker, communicator, and better at your craft, the quality of your work will continue to increase. You can do this by choosing the type of work, volunteer work, or self-study to be geared to self-improvement and skills sharpening. Eventually, you'll be able to charge very high fees for your work because no one else can do it like you. When you prioritize learning and growth, then during the hours you were actually working, you'll be constantly growing while others are simply passing time. You won't be distracted like most people are when they work. Four, don't learn for entertainment or for fun. Learn to create more value in our media and information age. There are a million things you could learn, but if you don't put that learning into immediate practice, it becomes shallow information. Knowledge is not power. Knowledge is potential power. Only when you put knowledge into action and monitor the results, then can you truly excel. Unless you understand the value of your time, you won't have the discipline to ignore everything that is irrelevant while focusing on that which will bring the best results. When you learn something, you should get a return on that learning. Far too many people read books now just to say they've read lots of books and to show off how many books are on their bookshelf. If you're not applying what you're learning, you're a consumer and not a producer. Five. Invest at least 10% of your income into investments that will generate more money. Even those who have high incomes are not truly wealthy. Most people's lifestyles match their incomes when they make more, they consume more. In fact, most people make money solely to consume. It's best to think of your business as only half of your income equation. You have your business which brings income. Then you have your investment entity to turn your income into even more money. If you put 10% of your income into your steady, long-term investments over a long enough period of time, you'll be set, unlike the majority of high earners out there without proper investments. 
You'll be able to stop working whenever you want because your money is making more than enough money for you to comfortably live with. Six, shift your motivation from getting to giving. Most people have transactional relationships. They're focused only on what they get out of the relationship and all about furthering their own agenda. This behavior is rooted in a scarcity mindset. It's selfish. Transformational relationships, on the other hand, are completely focused on giving in gratitude the hallmarks of abundance in these relationships. The whole becomes more than the sum of parts. Both parties in vulnerability and trust transcend their own small-mindedness and become something much more each individual can acquire all by themselves. Seven, openly acknowledge how dependent you are on other people. The truth is, Everyone is highly dependent on other people to do what they do, but it takes wisdom and humility to open up to acknowledging that dependence, rather than seeing it as a weakness, realize that it's a strength beyond acknowledging your dependence. Constantly express your appreciation to the people in your life that you appreciate. Appreciation for relationships are assets that can and should grow bigger and better over time. Eight. Create win-win strategic partnerships to achieve 10x or 100x goals. The only way to have these types of partnerships is to think long-term. You must be invested and have skin in the game. It can't be transactional, and it can't be this for that. It must be about something a lot deeper, a deeper goal, and true intentions to grow and help others grow. When it is, you'll have far more integrity in the work you do. You'll express greater appreciation. You'll consistently need to do the right thing, even if that right thing is difficult and uncomfortable. However, when your thinking becomes expanded, you realize you could do so much more with other people. Collaboration creates unique connections. Nine, set 10X goals and face your fears. The problem with individuals is that we aim too low due to fear or inexperience holding us back. When we aim so low and have such low expectations of ourselves, we cannot break through to achieve next level accomplishments. When you have 10 times the expectations of yourself and 10 times your normal goals, you're required to think very differently about your daily behaviors. You're required to be more serious in all aspects of your life. You're required to eliminate limiting thinking and consumptive distractions. The reason most people aren't successful is that they are moved by fear and set their goals way too low. 11. Don't focus on time and effort. Most people focus on time and effort because that's what we are praised for and it makes us feel like we are being productive. When we dedicate hours of overtime to a company, we feel we are making a difference and are even praised for it when in fact, we are simply sacrificing our health and time to make someone else rich. Focus on results instead. Entrepreneurs have to cross the risk line and borderline ridiculousness on a daily basis without seeing real results. They can lose everything in the blink of an eye. For them, there's no guaranteed income, no one writing them a paycheck every two weeks. Well, live below your means. Most people feel a sudden influx of wealth gives them a well-deserved all-out spending spree. But remember, if your influx of wealth is a one-off, you do not have consistent income, meaning your wealth can eventually be depleted. 70% of lottery winners go bankrupt within three to five years. Living below your means is an important part of building wealth. Invest, start a small business, find some way to make money from your newfound fortune, and spend less than what you make to be forever wealthy. 13. Define wealth and success for yourself. Success and wealth are not all about money. There are a lot of people who have money and little capital in the other key areas of their lives. Money obviously is very important. It solves a lot of problems. It solves a lot of the core problems in relationships, careers, families, and internal struggles. But money is a tool. It's a means to an end for those engaging in work they truly believe in. 
Once you have money, you have the freedom of time to spend it on things that truly makes you happy. 14. Know and operate from your deepest why? Your deepest why is your deepest purpose. What creates a spark in everything you are doing? And more importantly, once you know your deepest why for what you're doing, you should operate from that state, not from your lower and base level reasons. Because once you know why you do the things you do in life, you can truly find fulfillment and purpose in your life. 15. Have a firm stand in your beliefs, values, and morals. It becomes your brand. If you want to be compelling and interesting, you must truly believe in something. You must have a clear stand. That stand becomes your brand. It becomes your trademark. It becomes how you distinguish yourself from others. This not only gives you confidence, but it gives you an identity and meaning.